<gasps> I'm Kumi. First things first. I'm, I'm wearing this shirt, all right? Don't laugh. Serious business only on this channel. I'd actually have this as parasitical merch if I didn't get sued. <laughs> Why do I have this shirt? Jake Paul, or as I like to call him, I'm from Ohio though now, white boy. But I'm from Ohio though, white boy. He's someone that really doesn't get a lot of attention anymore due to the whole, you know, KSI and Logan Paul fight. By the way, KSI won that fight, you know, big up the UK. Uh, seeming I've made about 12 videos on Logan Paul. Uh, I think I've only made about five on KSI. Here's your tax relief. Here you go. KSI probably likes me about 3% more. Now, one thing I found funny from both the Paul brothers is because of the loss of the match, None of them could admit that they are at fault. They blame everyone around them except themselves. I mean, sure, you know, at the end of the match, they did that little handshake just to not look like a salty little baby. But deep down, he knows that it was not his fault. And in the post interviews after the fight, they legitimately thought they won. Like I've taken, I've taken true L's. L's that have affected my life and will affect my life for the rest of my life. This doesn't feel like that. Do you feel like you won the fight? Um, if the two points weren't taken away from me, Yes, I would have won the fight. I'm sick. I woke up sick. I've been sick for the past three days. The first thing I did this morning was sneezed three times. <laughs> called Shannon. I was like, yo, should I take Dayquil or ibuprofen before the, before the uh, fight tonight? And he said no, because it'll me mess up my heart rate. Could you imagine that conversation Logan had with Shannon Briggs? Logan's in his bed. He's got the sniffles. He reaches for his iPhone 11 Pro. You know, r right next to his AirPods Pro and his Beats by Dre Pill. He calls Shannon. Shannon. I feel quite ill. Could I take some meds? And Shannon just keeps saying over and over down the phone, Let's go, champ! Let's go, champ! You can be proud of that fight. I am, bro. I, for some reason, I, I don't feel like I lost. I've taken true L's before, and this doesn't feel like that. We're going to contest it. Jack Reese is their most powerful referee. He's their biggest referee. I'm going to turn out. They're not yeah. going to reverse a Jack decision. Okay. They're not going to do... That's, that might... Bro, if I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down fighting with a submission form that says please you shouldn't have deducted two points i love how he refers to his past mistakes you know it, it, it's an l you know showing a deceased person in a forest l it's not a w it's an l i remember a couple videos ago i also talked about the documentary which had their mom in it and she also referred to the incident in the forest as taking an l and for him to have all these w's in his corner and then this l that just will not leave him alone but first, oh my goodness, look at that. It's another mobile sponsor and it's not Raid Shadow Legends. Yes, yes, thank you. I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm such a humble guy. Monster Legends is a free to play mobile game available on Apple and Funny Green Robot. I want to go! No! No! You can collect tons of different monsters and feed them V-Bucks to evolve them and take them into battle. What's that WWF and RSPCA? No. I don't need to take care of my pet bull terrier. I'm too busy having combat in real time with my friends in Monster Legends. You can also connect with <laughs> Facebook to easily find my friends and fight against them. Yeah, sure, whatever. Use the link in the description to download the game today. Wait, what's that? You didn't download Monster Legends? Now you'll never be able to get to Bruh City. Oh, look, it's popular children's entertainer, PewDiePie. And he's gonna tell you how amazing Monster Legends is. Monster Legends is an epic gameplay as a download. No, fi Felix, where are you going? Stay, stay away from the bridge. Felix, don't go near it. Fi no, th th think about what you're doing. Download Monster Legends today for free. More about this at the end of the video. But anyway, Logan is just trying to avoid responsibility. It's not his fault. You know, he, he was sneezing a bit. <laughs> So sad, please leave, pl leave a like if you cried. But I will give him credit, he's trying to bat away any criticisms in a mature way. A stupid way, but a mature and calculated way. Jake Paul, on the other hand, well... I have to play bro every fucking bro, 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 bro. ASMR, hand on Jake Paul's shoulder. It's gonna be alright. Don't worry. He goes, bro, this is your first pro debut. It's okay if you lose in the f***ing sixth round. And then he comes back in here and is like, yo, yeah, you're good, bro. You're f***ing good, bro. Firstly, uh, A plus on the sad music there. I don't think I've heard sadder music than when Cortana died in Halo 4. Wait. Now, I get that his brother took an L. I don't know why that's the, the... It took an L. Tax evasion, jail, or oh, lol, L. What? 
OJ Simpson got away with double murder? LeMayo. The witness has taken L on this one. Now, I get his brother took an L, and it's fine for him to be emotionally invested in the situation. But as the video goes on, you kind of start to notice that Jake is turning the whole Logan Paul losing into something about himself when it really isn't needed. Bro, I said it last year and I'll say it again. If I was in that ring this year, I would have won the fight. I felt like he could have turned up the volume, turned up the juice a little bit and put more punishment on people. Oh, you know, I, I don't want to like kill my sparring partners. I want to, you know, you know, Thor, Thor. When I go into the corner for the first time in the fight, I hear, this is your pro debut. It doesn't matter if you lose. What? Who said that? You did. No, he didn't. So Jake pretty much blames everyone around him for the defeat except himself. He blames Logan. And he also blames Shannon as the trainer. Let's not go, champ. Clearly someone who just, you know, can't take the L. What's that dance they do in Fortnite? You know, the, the, the funny one? They do this, like... Also, one thing I've noticed about Jake Paul doing a bit of research on this video, he clickbaits his own name in the third person, implying that, like, Jake Paul's name actually carries any kind of views anymore. But look at this. You go into the videos. You've got Jake Paul cries backstage after Logan Paul loses. Hmm, who's gonna win? The random man I don't like or my own brother. There will be no bias in this video. KSI versus Logan Paul 2. Wiz Khalifa, Justin Bieber, Dan Bilzerian, Ed Sheeran, Rick Ross, Little Baby, Designer, Tana Mojo, Jake Paul, Austin McBroom and Catherine, Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres. I like how half the people he mentioned in that list I think I've made videos on. Also, like Jake, don't mention the Ace family like it's a good thing. You know for a fact during the match they were probably checking for loose change <laughs> between the seats. Ace family! Also, I just noticed with Jake Paul's video where he titles it in the third person, he put in the description, I didn't want to post this. So this is the hierarchy of bad YouTube descriptions. At the bottom, you've got something basic, you know, like if you enjoyed the, the typical seven-year-old white girl description. And then the midpoint, you've got the Rave Shadow Legends sponsor. It's okay, they didn't sponsor this video, I don't care. And then at the very top, you've, you've got, I didn't want to make this. No, I didn't want to make this. That's why I put seven hours editing it together. He also posted this picture on his Twitter. Just looks like some poorly rendered Final Fantasy character. Also, Jake did this really weird thing leading up to the fight where he got like two kids. One of them is pretending to be KSI, the other's pretending to be Logan Paul. And then KSI only speaks in growls. That kid got Gucci on. It is really nice of Jake Paul to give his viewer base a platform. Also, j just to sidetrack for a moment, got a little side quest. Uh, do you guys know Justin Bieber? I love Justin Bieber just as much as the next four-year-old white girl. Recently, he declared himself a Logan Paula. <laughs> Never listen to his music again. And after KSI won, he put this on his Instagram. Reality, Logan Paul champion. Even though professionals decided that KSI won, KSI was on floor for two seconds. Logan Paul win. Also, you guys remember Joe Weller? He does like spooky haunted house videos. He's now turned into some kind of like interviewer for some reason. He was the guy that KSI first fought with in the boxing. He had an interview with Jake Paul. Wasn't very good. Where I'm from, if you like man to man say, I'm gonna do this, like you do it. Yeah, but also like I don't, like at that time it's like I didn't have respect for you. Why? Because I don't know you and I don't care. You just don't care about me. Don't yeah, you? yeah, I don't. Oh, uh, you, you're asking a question I don't like to answer. Bro, you're, you're irrelevant, bro. You're irrelevant. I don't like you, bro. Go to loganpool.com slash shop, bro. We, we got some really good merch. 300k likes, I'll spend a night in the spider den. Right, you've heard it here. I don't know you, and I don't care. Like, why would you initially, before you know someone, go, I, I instantly am going to show no respect? Like, who like who does that? Like, why? I think, I think what you're trying to do right do now I... is, like, make me look stupid in an nah, interview bro, and be no, like, yo, like, you, you were disrespecting no, me, bro. No, it's bro, f***ing no. a YouTube video, yeah. and, like, I posted it, like, a couple hours before you. Like, get the f*** over it. This yeah. isn't, this isn't f***ing seventh grade. Like, you disrespect me, brother. I love how even the security guard is just looking in the background, and he's like, bruh. I make 25k a year. I, I do not need this in my life. Why am I here? Who are these people? I might Uber Eats later. Also found this beautiful uh, comment in the gold mine. Jake Paul permanently looks like he's processing what someone told him five minutes ago. Lol. But listen, if the cameras weren't rolling right now, you know, like you said, 
you reckon we'd all just be cool? Do you reckon you'd like act how you're acting now if the cameras weren't rolling? This, I think there's a huge question that people try to bring up like with the Pauls all the time, like how oh, do they no, act? I had definitely had an internet persona for a long time, a long period of my life, and I don't anymore, and that's just the fact, and I think I am who I am now, and it's taken me like 22 years to figure that out, and I grew up living my life on camera, on Disney Channel. Could you imagine unironically arguing that Disney Channel was the reason you didn't develop as a person? God help anyone with Disney Plus, you are truly a damn soul. <laughs> Also, I love how Joe will ask like a pretty simple question and then Jake will like explain how osmosis works before getting to answering the question. You believe that? I mean, I don't know because like part Talk of me is- me off camera then. You always, you always are just talking to me on camera. You're like, oh, I'll hop Wait, in this interview. What? I'll hop in this interview. I don't, I don't Jake, really... come talk to me in while the... I'm on Sky Sports. Imagine having the mindset that if you can't monetize a conversation, there is no point having it at all. On camera versus off camera when I'm the same fucking person, but you've never even given the opportunity to talk to me man to man off camera. Relax. I, I, relax. Just <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk, Joe. Let's talk, Joe. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you noticed that as well, but one of Jake's lackeys was like, you know, filming the conversation. Obviously, to put it on Jake's story is like an epic roast. And then when Joe walks away, he's patting him on the back, being all buddy buddy. And if Jake couldn't have any more brain lit moments, he just straight up says the entire fight was rigged. And like, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but all of this shit's fucking rigged. You know, you see people whining and dining at each other. Who was at the Staples Center last night with KSI? Joe Markowski. This sport's rigged, for sure. 100%. This sport's rigged? 100%. This sport's rigged, he said. 100%. I probably shouldn't be saying this. It's funny because you know for a fact if Logan Paul won. This is the most legit sport in history. We make boxing. The Pauls make boxing. Boxing's cool. They probably also plugged their merch. Look at this merch you could buy. Also, I noticed on Jake Paul's Twitter, he, he took this, like, extract from the Bible. Tonight was absolutely insane. A legitimate movie. I want to purposefully start by congratulating KSI for the victory. I like how he congratulates KSI and then literally two sentences later, KSI was saved with the decision the referee made. Yeah, you won, but you didn't really win. Oh, we should have won. It's amazing that a man can compare real life to a Gmod horror map, but I know this sport is for me and will avenge my brother. All right, dude. Damn, you get backstabbed while you're AFK in Dark Souls. Chill out, dude. In conclusion, Logan Paul, uh, funny. Jake Paul, insane. KSI, Jared Leto, Joker. I hope you guys enjoyed, by the way. I love you all so much. You're amazing. Uh, I'm gonna stop with the commentary videos for a bit. I've got, like, a game review to work on now and then some movie reviews. I just kind of have to do this filler stuff because, you know, when I'm traveling, I need to kind of do a filler video before and after so there isn't just a, a huge gap. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Shut up. Again, thanks to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Everything I said before included, there's a massive Black Friday update, which has loads of discounts and deals. Hmm, I'll buy the one that looks like Vanos Gaming, please. Also, there's a Legends Pass. Massive legend here! The pass allows you to get rewards and privileges that no one else has. There's also brand new monster skins, which allow you to customize monsters in new and exciting ways. Finally, I can get as close as possible to the stripper dragon from Rick and Morty. Download Monster Legends using the link down in the description. Please do it. I need the money. I bought 300 Nintendo Switches for my wife's boyfriend and, and now she's stopped talking to me. Logan, why the 